Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Alana here from Classy on the Run. Okay, no regrets for starting it that way, but my god, is that going to sound dated. But you know what, we're living in a pandemic, so whatever. So, recognizing that we are in a pandemic, I couldn't think of anything better to do than to sit down and talk about luxury makeup, purses, wallets, small leather goods with you guys. Um, but all kidding aside, I know that these are tough times and I know that one thing I've been doing to sort of, I don't know, make the time go faster. I've been watching a lot of YouTube and I've been telling myself I need to get back to filming and I'm home all the time right now. One of the biggest impediments to me filming is not being home when there's daylight, but guess who's home when there's daylight and when there's no light and all the time? this girl right here. So I thought I would film a review of my Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet. Now I have had this wallet since fall of 2018, so about coming in on a year and a half. And I thought about immediately when I got this wallet um, about doing like an unboxing or a video or something. And I sort of filmed one, but then I thought to myself like, you know what? That's not a very good review because it doesn't tell you how it wears, it doesn't tell you if I regret it, it doesn't tell you if I'm still using it. So I thought, you know what, I've been using it for 18 months. Uh, I have pretty strong opinions on it now. Um, obviously, I still love it. So I thought it'd be a good video to do and I know I've been watching a lot of luxury fashion, lots of luxury makeup on YouTube because one, I have nothing better to do. Um, and two, you know, it's fun, it's sort of like escapism, it's something enjoyable to watch and dream about, and I think these videos are really helpful for making informed purchases. I love luxury products, but I don't have an endless budget, unfortunately, and I want to make sure that I'm making the most informed purchase, making sure I'm picking the right products for my lifestyle, and making sure that if I'm buying something luxury, that I'm getting the most bang for my buck, and that I'm getting a product I'm going to love and use and love and love for months and years to come. Emphasis on the years, not the months. So let's get into a review of, there goes my little camera thing. Anyways, let's get into a review of the Sarah Wallet. So, so this is the Sarah Wallet by Louis Vuitton in the Demier Avin pattern, which is that beautiful dark checker. Now I love this print because I think it goes with just everything and personally, I mean obviously it's iconic, but I love that it's not as flashy as the monogram. It's subtle, it's beautiful, it's classic. So the Sarah wallet is a long wallet, there we go, with gold heart. This one has gold hardware with a little button clasp here. Now mine does have, let's get in there, some signs of wear. I've been using this wallet for a year and a half, and other than um, a little bit of tarnishing on the button and a little bit of stretching on the back lip, I think it's in incredible condition for an everyday wallet. So, open a little, little fluffy on the stitching there. So when you open it, you are greeted, there's four card holders here where I like to keep my credit cards, my driver's license, um, Metrolinks card, um, and a couple other things. That's where I keep my cards. And then you've got a first pouch here. This is where I would keep things like uh, coupons, mostly just coupons, points cards that I want easy access to. There's another uh, set of card holders right, uh, see it right there, and a little tiny pouch again here. In the center, that's where I keep coins. Today it looks like I have $7 in Toonies and Loonies. So I keep some coins in there. Uh, here is where I would keep some bills. I just have a 20 in there. Uh, I rarely have cash on me, but I do keep bills here. And then in the back, there's some more um, card holders where, again, I like to keep points cards and cards I just don't use as often. And then, again, another little thing in the back there. It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France right here under the gold clasp. And then in the back, there's a little pouch here, which I find incredibly useful. Uh, because this is where I keep all my work expenses and uh, the reason it got a little a uh, little bit of signs of wear there is because I do that a lot so I like to keep my work expenses in there and then when it gets too full that's when I file them so that is what fits in the Sarah wallet again it's a beautiful wallet for every day 
I chose it in the Damier Evin because um, I felt like it would uh, last longer. I love the Damier Azure, but uh, with that white, I just would worry about uh, things spilling on it, scratching on it, and staining on it in my purse. But as you can see, I've had this wallet for about 18 months now. I use it every single day, keep it in my purse. I don't baby it, and I think it's in great condition. I am just going to trim this little bit of stitching here, but that's okay. These things happen. And that is my Sarah wallet. So again, this is the Sarah wallet by Louis Vuitton. I've been using it for about 18 months. It's my first piece from the brand. I'm still completely obsessed with it. I love this pattern. I think it matches everything. It's so, or at least everything I would wear or own. It is so beautifully neutral. Um, I love, love, love pulling it out of my purse and just like touching it and just, I just love it. I get compliments on it all the time. Um, someone once asked me if it was real and I was like, it is. And they were like, ooh. Um, I have seen these on the pre-loved market. Probably not, per, at least for me, not, it's not enough of a discount on the pre-loved market for a good quality one for me to want to buy it at that price. I would probably stick to buying this new. Um, but again, I just, I really love it. It's at a, I mean, look, it's expensive. Like, let's not kid ourselves. But for the brand, it's at a fairly accessible price point. Uh, the other small leather good I have is the six ring key holder, which I thought was so stupid until I got a nice purse and a nice wallet. And then I realized I didn't want my keys scratching everything up. So I think the biggest sign for me is that originally I would just throw my keys in my purse with this wallet and the, the button definitely has signs of wear. I don't know if we can, I don't know if it picks up on camera, but it's sort of tarnished and kind of silver showing through. It's, just, it's not terrible, okay? It's like, I don't even think about it, but of course, if I'm filming a video going through all the points of this wallet, I notice it. Um, this product I've had for maybe eight or nine months and the button doesn't have anywhere near as many signs of wear. Um, and I honestly think that my keys were scratching up this button in my purse, but I learned my lesson. I love having this key holder. Um, if you guys want a video with the key holder, let me know. Otherwise I'll probably do it anyways. But anyways, this is the Sarah wallet. Again, I love, love, love it. Some of the different colors have um, like different interiors that you can sort of see on the side, like pinks and reds and things like that. Uh, that really doesn't appeal to me. Um, let me just check one other thing, material. So I'm just pulling up on the website. You can get it in the Demi Eben. The monogram, the monogram I think has the most options for colors on the side. You can get it in lots of colors of the Epi leather. You can get it in the Demi Azure. Um, the monogram Epi leather and the monogram um, Ver Verni leather, like the, the shiny one. Um, the reason I chose this specific fabric, so I love the Deme Azure. I think it is so beautiful and feminine and summery and stunning. But the problem is like I throw so much stuff in my purse. I've got pens, pencils, business cards, receipts. And I would just worry that with the white, you're going to see signs of aging, signs of wear a lot sooner. I know with my purse in the Deme Azure, that I'm incredibly cautious about what clothes I'm wearing it with, what it's touching, is it raining outside? And I didn't want that level of stress on a wallet. Um, for me, the Epi leather I doesn't really do anything for me. I love the classic canvas. Um, I do like the monogram a lot as well. Uh, when I purchased it, I thought the monogram was too loud. I will say the monogram is growing on me to the point that I would like to have a monogram bag at some point in time. Uh, but I still, I have no regrets. I stand by the Damier Evin because it's so dark. Um, any like color transfer that could happen, you're not really going to notice it. Any signs of wear, again, you're not going to notice it as much. I think it's more long lasting, hard wearing. Uh, I do think it matches beautifully with any of the other prints that uh, Louis does and really like any other bag. I mean, it's just a wallet, but I definitely like things to match. Um, and so yeah, I am thrilled with this wallet. I absolutely love it. I didn't know that it was possible to love a wallet. You know, over the years I've had lots of different like brightly colored Kate Spade and 
Michael Kors usually picked up from an outlet that cost about a hundred bucks and I'd use them for a season or two and then I'd get kind of bored of them. Um, I've got a bunch of them tucked away, I don't know. Um, anyways, I, just, I didn't know it was possible to love a wallet, but I love this wallet. I love how functional it is. I think if I was ever going to get another wallet, I would probably just get this one again, probably in the same print. If I was going to get a different print, I'd probably go with the monogram. Um, personally, I don't really see the point in having a whole bunch of wallets. Like, I don't know. I, I know there's lots of people on YouTube who have more money than, you know, a lot of people and they've got tons of wallets. For me, um, I would rather spend my money on getting a whole bunch of different bags. But this wallet I love, it is long lasting, it's beautiful, it feels elegant, it like it just, I feel good when I take it out to pay for something. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how I feel. So that is my review of the Louis Vuitton Serra wallet. Again, it is 835 Canadian dollars, I'm not sure what that would be in your currency, that probably, let's see if we can find out the US price. Let's find out. Come on Louis, tell me how much it is in America. Okay, so it's saying the 720 US dollars, according to the internet, in this particular print. Some of the other prints, um, like uh, the shiny leather, whatever, a bit more expensive. So yeah, that is my review of the Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet. Uh, I never thought I'd be a small other good person, and yet, here we are. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are keeping well in these crazy times. Ontario has extended state of emergency for another month. So that gives me lots more time to film videos for you guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment down below what's on your wish list right now. What are you doing to stay sane in these crazy times? What Louis products have caught your eye? And I can't wait to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Mwah.